Hey guys, welcome back, John here, and today we have a review of Murphy McNeil's Gale Lock. So Gale Lock was first released back in July 2019, and this project was a collaboration between wet shaving enthusiast John Perry, Chicano Design, and Murphy McNeil, the soap maker. So the one I'm using today is from the original run, uh, Black and Gold, and there's also a white and gold mentholated version that was available. Uh, Gale Lock actually transitioned into the main line from Murphy McNeil, so you'll see kind of the, the traditional black and white label, um, same sand and everything though. So a little bit on the soap itself before we get to the shave. So Gale Lock is actually a firmer texture compared to the previous offerings of Murphy McNeil. Where the previous soaps had a very very soft, almost cream-like consistency, you can see here when I press my finger to the puck, it's actually quite quite firm. I can um, barely make a dent in this. Also of note is that this soap includes both beef and duck tallow. So for the shaving hardware, today I'm going to go with the Charcoal Goods Level 2. This is a brass one with a torpedo handle. One of my favorites, got a nice heavy razor. And for my brush, which I've loaded already, is a Turn and Shave Custom. So with that out of the way, let me lather up. All right, so next I do want to talk about the scent notes on Gale Lock. Uh, the scent here is inspired by Creed Viking, which actually is a scent that I really had no interest in um, prior to using the soap. The big thing was after purchasing the set and using it, it actually made me go hunt down um, samples or decants. So I wound up picking up a sample of uh, the Dua Fragrances uh, inspired by scent, which they call Scarlet Warrior. And then also, um, I just want to compare that against the real thing and want to pick up a 10 milliliter decant of Creed Viking. So that first pass actually went by really quick. Um, the soap is super slick, cushion protection, also very good. Actually, better than good, it's excellent. So anyway, I was talking about the scent. The actual scent notes for Creed Viking, and this is gonna be quite the list, but um, it's vetiver, lemon, peppermint, lavender, bergamot, black pepper, rose, sandalwood, and patchouli. So you might be asking yourself, okay, that's, that's a nice list of scents, of scent notes, so what does it actually smell like? And one thing that um, anyone into fragrances, or even just offhand, you might have heard that Creed Viking smells like Old Spice. I would disagree with that. But I know where people are coming from who make the comparison. And that's because uh, this scent actually has, has the vibe of kind of classic pharmacy drugstore aftershaves. Except classed up way, way up. Um, first time I smelled it just from a, just off the, off the puck, it was slightly remin reminiscent of toothpaste. And I did find that a bit odd. You know, my soap smelling like toothpaste. And that's probably on account of um, the peppermint in particular, um, mixing with maybe some of the sweeter notes. But upon lathering, you know, that, that kind of that toothpaste vibe totally goes away. And instead, again, that kind of um, that nod to um, old school aftershaves kind of comes up. I would even say it's a barber shop, um, since that's really, you know, your club, uh, Pinot Club and even like Aqua Ville and the other ones, um, they all have kind of this um, lavender musk base. 
you know, patchouli, oak moss. You can definitely tell they're in the same family of scents. And yeah, really after that first shave that I used this, um, I really fell in love with the scent. So that's already two passes down, super fast, no cuts, nicks, irritation. Yeah, so, so back to the point um, that this is a firmer soap, I would actually say that um, from the previous soaps I tried from, from Murphy and McNeil, that the softer texture was a bit of a turnoff because um, it was really easy to overload um, when going from the tub at least. And so after a few times, um, this was a soap that I would scoop out like a cream into a bowl just to make sure I didn't overdo it. I do hope that the firmer texture of this soap is adopted into the future releases from the Artisan. So as far as other scents that um, are similar to Gale Lock, I don't think there's too many out there, but I would kind of lean into that barbershop vibe again. One other soap that I enjoy is Oleo Number no. 11, which is based on At The Barbers by Maison Margiela. All right, so as I'm wrapping up the shave here, I do also want to mention that the uh, post-shave on the soap is excellent. You can definitely forego an aftershave or balm after using this, but as I mentioned, I love the scent and I'm definitely going to go with the matching splash right here. So we've reached the end. Thank you guys so much for tuning in and watching. If you like what you saw, please hit that like button and sub to the channel so you don't miss out on any new videos. Take care and I'll see you next time. Thank you.